How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. This is the T-Mobile variant and it's running Android 5.1.1 and we're going to go ahead and show you now that we have official Twerp recovery for this device how to install Twerp recovery, how to technically install a custom kernel and how to get root access on the Edge. All right. That's the plan today. Let's go do this. So let's step through this process. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get into settings on your device. So we'll go here, scroll to the bottom where it says about device. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look for your build number right here. So my build number right there, you can see it is ends in OF6. So this is really important. You have to be on OF6 on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge T-Mobile because that's what this is for. And it's really important to be on that build. If you're not in the build, basically this is not gonna function for you, okay? Let's just put that out right there. So make sure you're on that build. While you're looking at the build number, go ahead and tap on it. Tap on it about seven times and it's gonna tell you you are no longer a, or you, developer mode is turned on. You're already a developer, basically. And it's gonna leave you with this option right here for developer options. And then there's really important that you check this OEM unlock. You have to have that checked. If you do not, you will not be able to flash um, custom firmware or recovery or any of that stuff like we're gonna be doing here in this video. So make sure that's checked. As long as you're in here, you might as well check USB debugging. Go ahead and check that one as well. All right, so we've done that. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download SuperSU. So let me go ahead and show you. I've got mine downloaded too, SD card downloads. So I would go ahead and download it on the phone. I'm gonna give you a link to it in the video description. So just go to the link on your phone and download it directly and it should be in downloads when you're done as well. So I'm gonna show you a link to the beta SuperSU version 2.49 zip. That's that file right there. Shouldn't, don't need to really look at it, but anyway, so that's what you're gonna have to have on the device. So we've got everything set up on the device. Now we gotta go to our computer and go ahead and push Torp Recovery over to this bad boy. Before we do that, I wanna make a quick mention to you guys that to install Torp Recovery on your device, you basically have to install a custom kernel. Now, we're gonna be installing a, the kernel that's really based on the stock kernel, and it's just tweaked, because the issue is, is if you install a Twerp Recovery image, like you can actually get from the official Twerp Recovery site, which is what we're basically gonna be flashing, then you flash that to your device in Odin, and it's gonna put you in a boot loop. So that's no good. So basically the problem is, is that when you have the stock kernel and Twerp Recovery, then you still have SE Android enforcing turned on. And when you have that turned on, it checks and sees that your recovery image is wrong and says, we're gonna go into a boot loop, okay? So basically, we're gonna be flashing two files here. One is going to be Torp Recovery. The other one's gonna be a custom kernel, which is actually just the stock kernel with the tweak of removing C Android or SE Android um, from enforcing to not enforcing to permissive that's going to allow Torp Recovery to function correctly and the device to run normally, okay? That's really the main thing we're going to be doing here, but I uh, just want to give you guys a little bit of warning and information about that. All right, guys, first things first, we need to go ahead and download some files we're going to need for this to work. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your drivers. So here, this is uh, rootjunkiesdl.com. This is my website, my server site, where I host tons of files for you guys. Try to make it easier for you to find the files that you need. So if you go right here to um, Android devices and you click on Samsung, you can download the latest drivers, which I think is this one right here, and just run it and it'll install the drivers you need, okay? So do that, pretty simple. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here to uh, Android programs and download Odin 3 version 3.10.6 zip, extract it, and you should be left with a folder with the Odin program, and you'll see here in a second. All right, we've got that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna come over here to XD Developers, and you wanna download the files you're going to need. 
all right they're all going to be linked here i will link everything in the video description so you'll be able to find it simply but just walking you through it so this is the directions we're basically going to be following here but i'm going to try to simplify it that's what we do here on youtube or what i do on youtube anyway and then we're going to come right down here and you're going to download version 4 or the latest version you're going to download version 13 of um, the Odin Flashable Torp Recovery. This is the kernel you're going to be downloading right there. And then, um, where is it at? Oh, SuperSU. It's up here. You're going to download right here. This is SuperSU. That's what you're going to be downloading directly to your phone. But this is basically the everything you're going to need. I would read through this forum um, before you start this just to get an even better understanding than what I tell you. But um, I'm basically following the same steps as you've got right here. Okay? So, great link. Definitely check it out, XDA developers. All right, we're going to come over here and we're going to do this. So, first thing you got to do is here's my Odin. I'm going to run my Odin EXE. Pull this over here so we can get it out of the way. Um, I got to go back a folder, go into my twerp folder. There we go. And those are all my files I've downloaded, minus um, obviously the drivers. I'm not going to show you that. It's very simple. Just run the EXE, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're here. So from here, we got to go over to um, our device. Actually, you know what? Let's actually add um, AP Fastboot first. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and add the new kernel. So we're going to do AP Fastboot. My phone's over here beeping at me. And you're going to find the kernel. This is the kernel, version 4 kernel, which is there. And then it goes ahead and checks the MD5. It says it's good, successful, leaving. Okay. Now we're going to plug in our device and we're going to flash this kernel over. So over here on the device, what you got to do is um, go ahead and power it off. And we got to put it into download mode. So to put it in download mode, it's very simple. And this is universal on pretty much all Samsung devices. Hold home button, volume down, and power from the powered off state and just wait you will see the warning screen now if you've never done this before this will twit trip your Knox uh, count and you'll trip that out and you might lose warranty and yada 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 but here at Rude Junkie this is what we do so volume up from here there we go and you're in download mode so from here just go ahead and plug in your cable right there USB cable plugged into your computer See if I can get this right. Da 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 da. And you should see on the computer over here that it says it is added. So from here, very simple. Just go ahead. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do wait, 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 one thing. Over click in options and go over here. It says auto reboot and uncheck that. Only that. Don't uncheck anything else. Just auto reboot. All right. Now let's go ahead and do it. So go ahead and start. You can see it's there. You go. Reset. Okay. Pass. Boom. We're done. Right. Okay, perfect. Now, from here, because we got to get custom recovery installed too. Easiest thing to do, I know as long as it says pass, just go ahead and unplug your cable. Hold the same buttons again. Volume down, home, power. And wait for this thing to turn off. And come on. And then just keep waiting. And there you go, you're back in it. Plug in your cable again and hit volume up again and you're back added once more and from here we're going to select AP again and we're going to go to that twerp recovery image right here it is version 13 and it's going to check it it's going to say leaving you're good go back into options this time say auto reboot and go ahead and hit start and there you go, you're flashing Torp Recovery, Reset, OK, Pass, and you are done on the computer. Something I want to point out right here is that it does say right here your kernel, right there, SE Android um, Enforcing. It just gives you a little warning that it's not enforcing anymore. And here we go, we are booting up, and that should be it basically. So you have the new uh, stock kernel basically, and you have Torp Recovery installed. Now, we want to get into torque recovery. That's obviously the next step. So let's go ahead and unplug our cable. Let's power off our device one more time. And this time, we're going to use a different button combination, but it's just as simple as the other one. So we're going to say home, volume up, power. And this is going to boot us into 
torp recovery there it says recovery right there in red you can let go of power keep holding the other two until you see the custom recovery screen shabam very very nice very awesome totally loving it so from here we're going to go ahead and get root access as well. Mine as well if we're doing this right. That's probably why you're doing it. We're going to go ahead and hit install. We're going to scroll to download. And right there is the SuperSU file. Go ahead and select it. Swipe across. This is going to get of us root access. Also, if you do not flash that kernel, then you can't even root the device. It won't even let you. Even if you have Torp Recovery installed, it's that critical, okay? So reboot system now, there we go, it's rebooting. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, you get that warning. You're gonna get that on every boot right now because it is a custom kernel. Um, if you're already gonna install a custom kernel, this is stock, you might as well get something different that's maybe overclocked or something like that. I can give you some links to some of those maybe in the video description. Other custom kernels that might have some better features in them like overclocking, underclocking, that kind of stuff. So stuff that's really tweaked for the device, which would be pretty cool, I think. Here we go. We've booted up. Let me go ahead and give it my fingerprint to unlock it, if it will work. There we go. And we're going to scroll over, scroll over. Here is Root Checker, but I'm going to show you in my app drawer that I have SuperSue installed right now. There's Root Checker right next to it. Let's open SuperSue. And no thanks. And there you go. It's working. Now we're going to go ahead and run root checker just to prove that we have root access on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Verify root access. And uh, it's going to take a little bit because it's first boot here in a little while. So grant, that's, that proves it right there. But um, come on. Wow, that's really slow. Grant, yes. Oh, you know what? I, grant, I didn't grant root checker. That stinks. I granted... Uh, uh, I'll show you what I granted. You don't want to do that. Always pay attention to that. I granted it too quickly. Super Sue. Look what I granted. T-Mobile thing that's checking for root access on your device. So we're going to delete that. And hopefully if it asks for it again when I boot my device, I will tell it no. Do not grant that root access. I don't want T-Mobile knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> So, anyway, there you go, guys. That's going to be it. That just got you custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, and you are rocking it. So, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a ROM install video really soon, and I hope you will stay tuned for that and uh, enjoy that video as well. Hopefully, we'll have more ROMs coming for this device now that we have a fully official Torp recovery uh, supported, and I'm pretty pumped about that. Stay tuned for those videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.